Hey everyone, this is Jade. So I'm back in Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. Thank you very, very much to everybody who's shown so much positivity, all of your positive comments. Thank you for all the virtual hugs, virtual hugs back. I'm ready to come back now. I, I have kind of gotten over that. I did send Square Enix a, um, Square Enix customer support a ticket, so hopefully I'll hear some good news back. But in this video, I am going to try and guilt the queen. Not quite the cards yet. Well, the cards, it's going to be the same guilting process as with everything else. They do use, let's see, the regular, normal evolution medals. So the fairy godmothers, if you're doing the one and the two stars, if you're starting from there, the Cheshire Cats, the Merlins, you also need Yen Sids. Um, who is the red fairy? I can't remember. I do have a lot of her, though. Is it Mary? Mary? No, Flora. You need Floras. <laughs> Once you get to the four star and the five stars. So, um, for the queen, though, she is very different. So, I already have the two orb, two dot metal ready okay so to actually do that i actually had two other three star medals and i leveled her up so i'm just gonna fill an orb let's find the medals And I'm also going to level her up. There we go. So there it is. Filled one orb. She's at a three star. Maxed at 40 now. And I am going to evolve her. So for the queen, you actually evolve with cards. For a three star to a four star, you need one three star playing card medal. Okay, so it says right here, here is the requirements to evolve. So we will evolve here. And she becomes a four star. And I will level her up first. I don't have any six stars. So this is probably the best way if you have a bunch of five star medals. So I'm going to level her up first, and then, okay, let me just lock this. I've learned my lesson. I need another four star. So now I have two orbs there. Level up. And now I need to evolve them. Now to evolve her, I will need two four-star playing cards. So I'm going to have to evolve one of these. Um... I don't have other ones here. You know what, we'll just go and farm. We'll just go and farm some. I haven't been farming any Omega Behemoth, so I'm out of red experience power medals. So you guys are just going to have to bear with me and uh, watch the full process. This is usually what I do. This is probably better done on stream and I can just interact with you guys and you can ask questions for those of you who are new to guilting So if you don't buy the weekly jewel pack, you'll have to plan out when you're going to farm all of your various colored XP medals and how many 
of each one you're going to need. I'm going to have to start planning come next week because I'm not going to be buying the weekly jewels anymore. So the dungeons won't be open. Okay, so I do have enough of that. I know I need a couple of... I need a couple of fairy godmothers. Now I'm just going to be super, super lazy. I'm just going to be using my skip tickets there. I've... I've been really spoiled with the skip tickets. Wow, I actually only just got two. That was all I needed. I thought I would get a few extra, but that just really sucks. Okay. Um, nope, not that one. Alright. So I need to level them up. There you go. Two five stars and two three stars. Most efficient way to just level a three star up to level 40. There it is. And then we can just go in here and evolve. And now that we have those two, we can evolve her. So when we go to evolve, there you go. There's the two four star playing cards that we need to evolve her from four star to five star. And you also need 40,000 money. Awesome. So now we need to fill one of these orbs up so that we have a three orb and a two orb that we can combine. So we will level one of these up. And so I can do this. That combination also works to level a four star to 60. And then now I need to, I need to evolve two of the playing cards. E. I need to go back to the quest. And I need to gather some metals. So we'll just come in here, do one more.
Okay, so I do need do need a few fairy godmothers here. So I will replenish. I'm gonna come in here with my skip tickets. Let's see. So I'm using this keyblade just because I need to level up all the skills. Actually, I'm gonna change the skills on them. So let's see here. I know I need to level... That attack boost one is done. This one. And this one. Okay, I just need to replace one. Alright. So I'm just going to use these quests while I still have them open because come next week I'm not going to have the luxury to do that. I'm actually going to have to find out where I can farm these evolution materials. Or I can just wait until... I think it's Saturday that it's open. Okay, that's good. I got three there. I do need... Another three. I do not want to fight you right now. Oh, I keep going to events. Why? That's what happens when you're spoiled with skip tickets. You can never go back and just run something ever again. Ah, oh, I only got two. I have to run another one. Oh man. It's a good way to level up your skills as well. Since you don't have to worry about, you know, the metals not being uh, the right type, things like that, but you do have to have skip tickets to use. Let's see. Going back to metals. We are going to level this one. Okay, that's good. And then we'll evolve. And then we'll take another one. Oh, not enough. So this is just the mundane routine that I go through whenever I want to guilt something. It's just going back to the metals, leveling, maybe space is not enough. I run out of space, then it's kind of like, okay, where can you... Where can I put other metals or what other metals can I sell? And then just coming back here, getting experience metals, and then just going back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, guilting is not really fun. Only the rolling part is fun. Everything leading up to it is pretty tedious. So I'll always bring Yuffie in here to uh, one-shot the eggs and then I'll just load up the Keyblade with any metals that have skills that I need to level up and just hope that randomly those skills will level, even if I don't use them. Okay, I think I have enough there. Uh, so let me go back to the metals again. I need to level one of them. There we go. And then evolve. Awesome. 
And then now we can evolve this one. There we go. So now I have three. Okay. Two of them with two orbs lit and one without. So I'm going to add this one, the one without, I'm going to put that into one of these ones here. Actually, I do... Hmm... It would probably be cheaper for me to level it up to 80 first, because once it's at the max level, each each metal that goes in there is reduced to, I believe it's 120, or sorry, 1200 for a 5 star, or was it 18? I can't remember. but. This right here, for most of you who have been watching my videos, or if you are not quite new to guilting, this this metal, I mean this requirement, this money requirement actually multiplies as uh, with the level here. So if I actually level this to 35, the next time I put another metal in there, the cost of each metal is going to be 80 times 35, and so on. So. You don't want to guilt like that. I mean, you don't want to level like that because you would be wasting a lot of your money. So I would usually try to max it out first because when it's at max level, that that cost is no, ver no longer multiplied by the level. It's not 80 times 80 once it's at the max level. It's actually capped at, I believe it's either 1200, 1600 or 1800. I can't quite remember. I know for a 6 star at 100, it's 2,000. So that way you save money. So I'm actually going to go back to that lovely quest. I need to run it three more times. Because I need three medals. Three helicopter Hueys. Was that just one run? Oh man, it seems to take so long. I need to do this two more times! I only have enough AP to do this two more times. At which point I would have to spend jewels and refill AP once again. Well, And that is really just for the purpose of this video. I don't want to... I don't want to have to cut it short and then come back later with a part two. I'm just gonna do this all at once. Okay. Last, yep. Last run.
Okay, back to the medalist. We are... Okay. Any one is fine. So I like to put in my five... Six star experience medals just cuz... Okay, I know when I if it doesn't hit the great or the wonderful, it's gonna be at 73, and then the next two medals I put in there, it's gonna be 73 times 80, uh, which will be what is it, 11,400 I think, or 11,800. Um, but I am hoping, and sometimes I do get that great boost or the wonderful boost for leveling, and so I can just actually just one shot to 80. So. That's why I put in my five six-star medals first when I'm leveling a five-star. And I didn't get it there that time, so there we go. We need one other six-star and then another three-star to just get that up to 80. Okay, and then I'm going to put in that last metal on her so as you can see here that is capped at 1600 when it's at the max rather than 80 times 80 which would have been 6400 is it 6400 yeah i think it is i can't do math right now um level There we go, and this one is actually ready for us to evolve, but I do need two five-star cards. So that's going to take some leveling up. Yeah, so I'm going to have to level these up, and I will have to level her up, and also evolve her. So I'm going to need another four five-star cards before I get her to level, uh, evolve her to six star. So I'm actually gonna end the video there now. Um, I don't want you guys to just watch me farming experience medals and things like that. So I'm gonna get the queen ready for guilting. And then I'm also going to get some cards, some playing cards ready for guilting. And then the next video, I will just roll the guilt on these two cards and we'll see what I get. So thanks for watching everybody, this is Jade, and I will talk to you next time. Bye!